Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. It is the dream of every Muslim believer to visit Makkah and do the Hajj. But the pandemic came with no warning and took away that dream. Since the first Hajj in 632, Muslims have traveled to Makkah in the face of hardship, adversity and disasters, gradually transforming the pilgrimage from an elite pursuit limited to small numbers of people into one of the world's largest Muslim gatherings. Since the 1990s, the pilgrimage has been marred by stampedes, giant tent fires and worries about outbreaks of diseases such as SARS or more recently MERS. The deadliest stampede occurred in 2015 when more than 2200 people died. Despite the periodic tragedies, the Saudi authorities never cancelled it. This is the first time in the global phenomena of the Hajj that it has been cancelled in such a manner. The cancellation of Hajj was devastating, but it was a necessity to be done. This year's announcement that Hajj will be limited to only those living in the region has brought mixed feelings. Pilgrims donning face masks and moving in small groups after days in isolation began arriving to Islam's holiest site in Mecca on Wednesday for the start of a historically unique and scaled-down Hajj experience reshaped by the coronavirus pandemic. The Hajj both physically and spiritually demanding, is intended to bring about greater humility and unity among us Muslims. But rather than standing and praying shoulder to shoulder in a sea of people from different walks of life, pilgrims this year are social distancing, standing apart and moving in small groups of 20 to limit exposure and the potential transmission of the coronavirus. In past years, it was common to see men pushing their elderly parents around on wheelchairs in order to help them complete the Hajj and parents carrying children on their backs. The communal feelings of millions of people from around the world praying together, eating together and repenting together has long been part of what makes Hajj both a challenging and rewarding experience like none other. This year, however, pilgrims are eating pre-packed meals alone in their hotel rooms and praying at a distance from one another. While this experience will be starkly different, it remains an opportunity for pilgrims to wipe clean past sins and deepen their faith. The current pandemic has also given each one of us to reflect and heed back to the path of Allah. Not only as Muslims, but as humans, we have to overcome this issue together. It is the time to stand with each other rather than be separated by fear and hostility. So remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember you. Brothers and sisters, we are still in this pandemic from the start of this year and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows when will all this end. By now you must know it is not you controlling your life. It is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, what has this pandemic taught you? Let us know in the comment section below. And like always, don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.